So welcome to another episode of the Board Game Blitz from theplayersaid.com. I'm Alexander. I'm Tim. And I'm Grant. And today we're taking a look at Victory Point Games' Villainous Vikings. This is actually from the kind of gold banner line. This is a second edition which has uh, some upgraded components. It has the mounted map board which is similar to uh, other games that they put out like Zulus on the Ramparts. Instead of just having a cardboard, uh, they've kind of mounted it in very, very nice quality. This game is designed by Jeremy Schultzfuss, and oh, it's, a, it's a Viking game, and it plays pretty quickly. It's very card-heavy. Um, so what did you guys think? Let's do positives and negatives, and we'll start okay. later on. Well, a couple things I would say. Gameplay is fairly simple. I think once we got the rules down, it was pretty clear you had to move to locations, raid or trade. Really like that. I think the thing I really liked about the game as it progressed into the third age, isn't that what they're called? The third yeah, age? Yeah, third age. Age three. Yeah. The heroes became significantly more difficult. Yeah. Uh, one of the, and we were kind of joking about it, <laughs> one of the heroes in Constantinople, I mean, he had like five swords already and everything gave him a ton and it was just going to be very hard to beat him. So I think that the game really... I felt like we went very quickly through the first two ages, and then the yeah. third age, it was kind of like, well, we can't beat him, so what am I right. going to do? Love the art. I think the art is fantastic. Yeah. I think VP Games always does a good job with presentation. Art, components. The dice are chunky and great. They are stickers onto the dice, which are probably a negative side, because I, I have gorilla hands and... <laughs> <laughs> tore them a little bit. Um, but I really liked it. I think it's simple and straightforward. And I think there's some replayability that is good too. Yeah, I think there's tons of replayability with all the cards that we didn't use. Uh, one of the things I really liked was the theme was really, really good. And I thought that the, the actions that you take, you're really being a Viking. You're either raiding or pillaging towns for their money. Uh, you can help a, a town out and then you can turn around and destroy it and, and attack it again and so I thought that was really cool about just the actions that, and there are plenty of actions to choose from it's not just uh, choose from three different actions there's a lot of stuff that you can choose from so I really like the theme and how the mechanics integrated the theme really well so it was not a painted on theme no it was not painted on uh, I enjoy <laughs> I agree I agree I enjoyed the fact that the board was small it was tight. There's really only seven or eight spots, and yeah. we only had three players. But if you played with five, there would be a lot. I mean, there would be a lot more contention between yeah. players. Um, but you know, it's, you're not spending hours kind of plotting what you're trying to do. This is a very fast playing game. Like you said, we played yeah. through the first two ages just like that. Yeah. I felt like it got a little bit bogged down in the third yeah. age yeah. with us trying to claw together more power to fight the really powerful guys. Well, and we also were trying to be strategic about. Are we going to end the game, or is there stuff that I still yeah, want to do? Right, because but, the end tri game game trigger is random too, right? Yeah, it's the random. It could be one of the last card. four cards. Yep, and it just happened to be the last card that we had in our deck. Yeah, but I enjoyed how fast paced the opening of the game was, yeah. and, I, and I wish that could have kept up just that extra bit more. But I do like this is the stack of cards we, we didn't did. use, yeah. and that means this game is going to be different every time. You'll have different locations, and, and you know, they're slightly different in flavor of, oh, this one gives you more shields, this mm -hmm. one has a stronger attack value, so I think that's going to bring more to replayability to the game, which is a very, very good thing. I really liked the heroes once we kind of figured them out. Yeah. I think it was cool to try to identify, is that hero worth keeping, or is it just kind of, kind of let him go? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I liked that element, and I really liked the boat part. I thought that was a very cool mechanic. So if you can't see, you have three sections of your boat. Each can take a certain amount of damage. And it was just kind of cool thinking, I'm going to lose my most powerful dice if I don't repair that section of boat. So you had to yeah. you had to do that to have any real chance. And that's always the first one to get destroyed. It is. So yep. you charge into battle and it's like, quick, fix the boat before I can go again. Vikings don't fight from the back. No. They, they, fight. <laughs> they fight from the front. Well, there are arrow guys <laughs> in the back, but they're not seen as true Vikings. I was the first one to get my boat sunk. I just wanted to keep <laughs> in there. Because there are dice involved, and yeah. I cannot it's roll dice. Great with that. One of his skills. That's a good roll, Tim. Yeah, that was good. That's I could have used that during the game, actually. The combat system is very, very simple, but it's it's quick and it's intuitive. I liked that you know your boat is your kind of life and health points. Right. You're just rolling a number of swords on a die plus the the guys that you have. It just made the you didn't pause ten minutes of combat and yeah. then move on. It was quick. 
Yeah, combat literally is one dice roll, really. Yeah. I, I like the Ragnarok thing. That was kind of an interesting, although I felt like the, the heroes I had were better than they were the same your way. heroes. Your heroes were specific to England, right? If they were in England, yeah. they would have benefited. And that, that was an interesting thing, probably a little difficult at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Well, you reward the most powerful player, and that is always something that's a bit like... It, I get it, right? It's Viking-y. Right. You're the best. You get more points. But, but this is such a huge victory point that that's one thing it's I like, felt yeah, you run could away have been with improved. It. I think that mechanic should be improved a little bit. I don't know how you would. I guess if the players were on a more even level, right. that would be like, oh, right. I won the game doing that. Instead of, I've been smoking everyone, and now I've got to smoke them even more. Right. Right. I do like some of the little, little bits of uh, decision making in the game. So... When you take over a land, you can choose to either take the money or triple that money if you raise that land. But, Burn it to the ground. But you but lose you, the VPs. You lose the VPs, and getting that money, you know you're just going to spend later on in the games. But right. the more gold you have at the end of the game, the more VPs you get also. So yeah. there is a nice little decision-making in the game. Yeah. Or all those little tiny choices on... Do I keep the card, or do I want to get the more money? So I, I do like that aspect of the game. And Alexander was the first to really figure that out, right? You Yeah, raised a couple of big ones yeah. early, got a lot of points, didn't have to worry about repairing things, and I was able to buy some victory points from the special chips. Yeah, you got a so. ton of gold, and that was that was a good strategy there to start. So, I, Art was fantastic. I think I already said that, yeah. but I yeah, really liked good. the art. Really good job, so... Yeah, this game gets a thumbs up from me. It was enjoyable. It was pretty quick. And like you said, artwork components, really, really good quality. Yeah, so I'll be putting together a written review this week, uh, hopefully maybe by the end of the week. Um, but very interesting game. I'd love to play it again sometime. So, Yep. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks.